Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Today we will be learning about um, head tag, right? Head tag is a very important tag and without head tag we really don't write any HTML page, is it not? So let's see and understand uh, what is a head tag, right? And what all are the tags we can use in a head tag, okay? So usually a uh, first head tag is written in any HTML page, right? And then we write body tag, right? So it is a very main tag where um, we will be writing only a few tags inside it, okay? What are those and uh, why do we write them? Let's just check out those things today, okay? So first thing, uh, just like we, our human body has a head and a body, right? So same way, HTML page also has a head and body, okay? In head tag, we mainly write all the library files linking part, right? And uh, CSS file linking. Also some, you know, some information related to your web page, right? Also the title, all these things we will be writing in a head tag, okay? Starting off with the title tag first, right? So title tag is the most prominent one we use in head, head okay? So usually title tag is uh, basically whatever you write inside the title here, right? That will be shown on the tab name over here, okay? Let's suppose I will write head tag demo, okay? So I will just run this one. I'll click on new tab now. Can you see here? head tag demo, right? Because I gave it in the title tag, uh, so that's why it is showing you here, head tag demo, okay? So whatever I wrote, it's just showing the same thing if you can compare, right? So whatever is inside the title, that will be given as the tab name, right? So now if I'm seeing this as the tab name here, Replit might have given this inside the title tag, that's why you're getting it, okay? So same way, um, you can um, give anything inside the title like the description of the page for youtube you will be getting youtube.com and so on okay so this is about the title now next very important and prominent one is link tag right so what is a link tag is when you want to link css files you use a link tag okay so this is external style sheet style.css and I want to link this with my HTML page. That's where I write, um, that's when I write link tag, okay? Link tag is an exception which doesn't have a closing tag. That's why you just close it like this, okay? So link and then we write href. href is basically high-end reference, right? So whatever is the reference file name, you just have to write that file name. Then you will write the rel. Rel means relationship. So basically style sheet is the relationship here um, for this index.html. Style.css is the style sheet. That's why we're writing it. And type is text by CSS. So usually CSS, no? So this is the CSS file we are writing. So the type of the file is text CSS, okay? That's how you write the link tag and you link your external style sheets with your index.html page. Okay, so title tag, link tag is done. Now we have meta tags also here, right? So what are these meta tags? Meta tags give additional information, okay? So uh, usually a meta tag will contain the standards. What standards I mean to say that? Like whatever the Unicode standard you use if you are using Unicode standard or such type of standards. To tell you about those things, we have uh, meta tag uh, car set, okay? So meta tags car set is uh, usually to specify the character set, right? Which type of standard character set you're using. And then it also is used for uh, page description, okay? So, and then you can also use it for keywords, right? or the author of the document you can mention. You can say, uh, do this viewport settings here, okay? All these things are done with the meta tag, 
right so this is uh, about meta tag here we have the character set utf8 is the standard okay the standard character set we are using and here we have name viewport right and content width equal to device width basically this is the viewport setting we are giving okay this is like the screen setting thing okay now so we have uh, understood about meta tag title tag link tag right then we also have script tag sometimes you can see the script tag here right so usually if you uh, you can place your script tag within body tags right or you can also link your library files within head tag okay so most of the times we uh, place library files in the head tag itself let's suppose you are getting a bootstrap library right so all those things you will be getting the links and you will write those script tags within this head tag itself okay this is how any script tag is written source file you have to give and you have to close the script that's it okay here also you can see one more example of a library thing badge.js is used here theme blue defer right so this script tag is having this javascript file linked into your html right so usually uh, the script tags are also written inside the head so these are some of the very common tags used inside head tag right along with these things you can also write style tag for styling so while understanding the types of css we understood about um, this internal css right so usually internal css is raised, uh, written sorry is written using gov style tag isn't it so let's quickly write style tag here let's say in body tag i have h1 tag i'm just writing head tag demonstration let's style this h1 tag here by writing h1 so you can give color so I'm giving blue color. Okay. You can also style your body tag here. Let's style body by giving background color. Yes, and this is how you can use the style tag, right? So you can give the complete style here in the style tag also. You can see both of the things are getting applied. Right. So this is all about the head tag and some very prominent tags which you can write inside the head tag. Right. Along with this, we have another tag called as base tag. So you, you also write base tag inside the head tag. Right. So base tag is usually used for specifying the base URL, okay, or the target for all the relative URLs in a page, usually you do in the base tag. Okay, so this is, uh, this is all, right, all the target links on the page will be given inside a base tag. Okay, now, um, if I have to tell you an example of it, right, so let's quickly write something here so like i will just say base so let's uh, let's quickly write a link right so which link shall i give over here i'm just thinking if i can get something let's see if we can get this abdul kalam page itself again right wikipedia page i'll link this thing let's write href so put the link here 
you can give the target right so target is underscore blank which is i want to open this page on a new thing that's why okay so this is the base link right now we can just run it we are just specifying the target for this base link right i haven't used this link anywhere in a page so that's why you can't really see this but yes let's um let's link it with the thing right so that you can get get the thing uh, when you link it then you will be getting this target underscore blank is provided right so whenever you open the link then you will get the base itself right so whatever is inside the base you will get that one only okay so maybe i can just um i don't think we can do it right now but yeah this is how it is uh, working like right so whenever you uh, link the base tag and you give the target right so if you're using this base thing somewhere in your web page okay so then what happens is whatever is the target given based on that target thing it will work so here i gave target underscore blank so underscore blank is basically like to open a page on a new tab okay so we have this thing to open it on the same page you have underscore self okay so and there are some other target values also but that is not our cup of tea today right so yes this was all about the head tag and some prominent tags which you can use inside the head so we will be meeting in the next session with another new thing right till then you can um, subscribe to my channel and do watch all my other videos okay so bye bye guys thank you so much for watching this video i will i hope you all like this video please do share like comments and subscribe to my channel folks huh? bye bye and thank you so much for watching this video